Hi everyone. In this video, I will show you in detail how to prepare the hand feeding formula solution and the feeding temperature, its consistency, quantity of water and powder, feeding duration, etc. And also will show you how to feed this solution to your parrot chick and the things to take care of while feeding. Welcome to Kaiju. Please subscribe for tips, tricks and funny videos of parrots. Regarding the hand feeding, the first and most important thing is hygiene. Wash your hands and other things which you are using for feeding before start feeding. About the things you need for hand feeding. We need a ready-made formula. A small cup to mix this formula with hot water. Then uh, spoons. A syringe to feed the chick. a digital thermometer to check the temperature of the solution then tissue paper and hot water and of course a parrot chick is very mandatory i am using nutribird a21 for my indian ringneck a21 is good for small parrot breeds like indian ringneck cocktails conures like that If your bird is fast growing parrot breeds like Macau, African Grey, then you can use Nutribird A19. There are many brands available in the market. Choose the best you can. Now how to make the solution? Add required quantity of a formula to the cup. Add hot water into that. The mixing ratio for different ages of parrot chicks I will show you after this. Start mixing thoroughly. Make sure there are no lumps left in the solution. <laughs> Look at her, she can't wait for the food. She is coming out. Please don't use any machines to mix the formula. because air bubbles will get into the mix usually parrot breeders start separating the parrot chick from their mother after 2 weeks only because the chicks will start opening their eyes in 14 to 16 days time also it will be difficult for the mother to mouth feed more chicks at same time so it is better to separate them and start hand feeding Try to continue the same brand of formula from beginning to end of the hand feeding period. Once you feel the powder is mixed thoroughly, then start using your thermometer to continue stirring. Never feed the chick with the previously prepared formula. Make fresh mix all the time you feed. Now you can see the temperature is dropping slowly. Once you reach 39 degrees Celsius, you can stop stirring and take the formula into the syringe. If you don't have a thermometer to check the temperature, then you can drop a little of the solution on back of your palm like this. So it should be warm, not burning hot. There are professional feeding syringes available in the market like this uh, which usually breeders are using because they are heavy duty and long lasting. This needle can reach up to the crop of the parrot. So they are also known as crop feeder. But I usually prefer normal small syringes which is easy to handle and available in all the medical stores. and i fixed a small rubber tube at the edge of the syringe to not hurt the bird while feeding because while feeding they shake their head a lot now slowly you can start filling the syringe after filling the syringe make sure there are no air bubbles left in that you can do like this to bring the air bubbles to the top and remove it slowly 
because if the air bubble goes inside the crop then that will be dangerous for the chick so that's how we prepare the hand feeding formula this table shows you the ratio of formula to water with respect to the age of the parrot chick the ratio might be changing slightly depending on the manufacturer of the formula but it will be clearly mentioned on the container and this table shows you how often you need to feed your bird these i am keeping in the description also for your reference feeding you can start from 6 in the morning to midnight now let's see how to feed them with the formula here is the crop of the parrot chick make sure it is empty before start feeding usually the crop gets empty in 5 to 6 hours the food pipe of the parrot is on the right side of their head so try to feed them from their left side for that hold them with your left hand and feed them with your right hand so the risk of food going to the lungs is less feed little by little take your time Each time you feed wait for her to cry to make sure she is fine I am feeding 10 to 12 ml a time and 4 times a day since mine is 5 weeks old now Feeding small quantity more frequently is more comfortable for the chick. Try to call her with her name while feeding. So in future when you call the name the bird will start responding and flies to your hand when you call the name. Remember the chick will never stop eating. You are the one who should stop when you feed the required quantity. You can touch the crop and see. It should be full but not tight. Try to spend some time with the chick after feeding, which makes a good bond with them. The best part is, in the eyes of the bird, you are the mother. And that is the best privilege that you can earn by hand feeding. That's all for now and thanks for watching this video. See how her siblings are fighting to eat the balanced formula.